because we knew it was happening because they had to publish a notice to airmen to tell everyone that this area is closed because there's going to be something flying up. Mm. And we've seen several tests in this, uh, from this area previously of Trident missiles. So we sort of pretty much figured out what was happening. The, it wasn't just the area where it was launching from that gave us the clue, but they also had to tell us where it could land. And so, yeah, that was, that's the big clue as to what was being tested. Now, we don't know who was testing it, which is interesting because we've previously seen a launch from there. Uh, Trident is operated by Britain and the US. Mm -hmm. And the last time a, a Trident was tested from that part was a British submarine. <laughs> and it didn't quite go according to plan. What alarmed a number of people in this part of Florida was that it appeared to be heading right towards them, they said, as they were walking along the beach last night. Well, it's very hard to tell, to be honest. I'll tell you what, the one in 2016 did kind of come towards land, but this one was definitely going off into the Atlantic. It was really prominent, though, because of the time it was launched. Uh, so it was launched just after sunset, which means the ground is getting dark and the sky is getting dark, so it becomes easier to see things in the sky. But because the sun has only just gone down below the horizon. When the missile gets high enough, it flies into sunlight and suddenly it's really bright. And these are some of the most spectacular rocket launches you'll see. 